Black Mirror is a British sci-fi anthology TV series that was created by Charlie Brooker and can be found on Netflix. Each episode is a standalone story with different cast and setting, and it's absolutely fantastic. In this video, we'll run through some of the coolest secrets and easter eggs that can be found in the show, many of which show that in spite of the standalone stories, they all apparently take place in the same universe. We hope you enjoy it! Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's the best way to keep up to date with all our great new videos. During the video, can can you tell us how many times Black Mirror creator Charlie Brooker randomly appears? Stick around until the end to find out if you counted correctly. It concerns you directly, sir. Just play it. The British Prime Minister's Animal Antics in the National Anthem, the first ever episode of Black Mirror back in 2011, audiences were introduced to the show's version of the British Prime Minister Michael Callow, who was played by Rory Kinnear. Callow was brutally humiliated by a terrorist and forced to perform an extremely lewd act on a pig live on television. This was in order to save the life of a young girl. In future episodes, that event wasn't forgotten. It was cleverly referenced on a couple of occasions. In the Season 3 episode, Shut Up and Dance, a webpage shows the headline, PM Callow to divorce. That was due to the fact that his wife Jane, played by Anna Wilson Jones, wasn't able to get over the fact that her husband had relations with a pig. Later in that same season, in the episode entitled Nosedive, a tweet from the PM can briefly be seen on Lacey's computer. That reads, just got thrown out of the zoo again. Rather amusingly, in 2015, extracts from Call Me Dave, an unauthorized biography of then British Prime Minister David Cameron, claimed that Cameron had put a private part of his anatomy into a dead pig's mouth. This was apparently as part of an initiation ceremony for a society at Oxford University. <sighs> ha ha, Mike, ho ho. It's real. Proving that life and art really can imitate each other. Look, look, well, I have a dream. The peak of our dreams is a, is a new hat for our doppel. A hat that doesn't exist. 15 million merits. The second ever episode of Black Mirror was written by both series creator Charlie Brooker and his real-life wife. It was one of the finest episodes of the show's entire run so far. It came in the form of an absolutely brutal satire called 15 Million Merits. This was set in a high-tech society in which people earned their way by exercising as a means of generating power. They received things called merits, which were a form of currency in return for doing so. Subsequently, the episode was sneakily referenced on a couple of occasions in future seasons. In Season 2's The Waldo Moment, during a flash-forward that closes the episode, a billboard can be seen which appears to feature Abi Khan, Jessica Brown Finley's character from 15 Million Merits, although admittedly, it is a little blurry. Then, in the 2014 Christmas special White Christmas, the reality television contest Hot Shot from 15 Million Merits can clearly be seen playing on the TV belonging to Joe Potter, who was played by Rafe Spall in a role that he rightfully earned universal critical acclaim and awards nominations for performing. Hey, it's me, Waldo! Oh, I like your trainers, man. I'd wear trainers myself, but I can't because I haven't got feet. I've got stumps. Waldo. Season 2's The Waldo Moment featured a comedian played by Daniel Rigby who used technology to animate a cartoon bear named Waldo in real time to make fun of politicians. In future episodes of Black Mirror, that same little blue bear just keeps on reappearing, and so do references to the episode. For example, in the 2014 Christmas special White Christmas, a clip from the late night talk show that was featured in The Waldo Moment can be seen briefly playing while Joe is flicking through the channels on his TV. Also in that same rather terrifying episode, Dating coach Matt Trent, played by John Hamm, was seen remotely guiding his socially awkward client Harry, played by Rasmus Hardiker, on a mission to pick up girls. Just, you're not from the office. Who do you know from here? Say, I know you. Dawson. Dawson, isn't it? One of the users who was watching the live stream of the event had the username I underscore M underscore Waldo. A news ticker in the episode also referred to the sexting scandal that Tobias Menzies' character, political candidate Liam Monroe, was embroiled in, something that originated in the Waldo episode. Also, a couple of years later in Season 3's Shut Up and Dance episode, a sticker with the Waldo character on it can be seen. Hideo Kojima and Metal Gear Solid. 
We now take a break from the in-universe easter eggs in Black Mirror to briefly focus on a number of gaming easter eggs that were all in the same episode of the show. The episode in question is Season 3's Playtest, and given that Charlie Brooker is a former games critic and a big fan of gaming in general, it should come as no surprise that it's packed full of fun references to a variety of games from the real world. Very near the beginning of the episode, there's a scene in which Wyatt Russell's Cooper is browsing the collection of video games his date, technology journalist Sonya, played by Hannah John Kamen has in her apartment. One of the games that can clearly be seen is from the popular Metal Gear Solid series. In the Edge magazine cover that she gives to Cooper while they're talking about games developer Shu Saito, looks like a nod to the real-life cover of official PlayStation magazine that Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima graced in 2011. In fact, a user of Imgur actually took the time to make an image comparing the two covers. Pretty similar, right? You know what? Stop the game! Bioshock. During that same playtest episode, you may recall a moment in which Cooper has to open a door in order to escape from the playtest experience. However, because of the trauma he previously suffered during his playthrough, he is extremely wary. That's great news. We need you to follow instructions and okay. make it to the access point. The access point? The developer and researcher who had been with him since he first started playing, Katie, played by One Mimasaku, uses a nurturing tone to repeatedly ask, Would you kindly open the door? The would you kindly part of that question is undoubtedly a reference to a well-remembered trigger phrase in the popular real-world Bioshock game. In the game, the player is regularly asked by powerful businessman Frank Fontaine to aid him in his pursuits, and his requests are always bookended with Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Katie uses the phrase to get Cooper to open the door, even though he doesn't want to. It used the exact same kind of psychological horror that was present in Bioshock, and if you look on Playtest director Dan Trachenberg's Twitter account, you'll find that he's quite clearly a very big fan of the game, as he's mentioned it more than just a few times since he joined the popular social media platform. Resident Evil. The final easter egg from Playtest that we're including here is a reference to an extremely popular survival horror gaming franchise. In fact, it's arguably the most iconic survival horror gaming franchise ever produced. As we've already mentioned, Playtest had a sort of psychological horror vibe to it. <laughs> So it was only fitting that the gaming franchise that provides the most psychological horror to real-world players was referenced. And that gaming franchise is, of course, Resident Evil. I've been so worried! You kidding me? In the Resident Evil series, two of the most prominent characters are siblings Chris and Claire Redfield. Chris is the Special Operations Unit Captain of the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance. Claire is a member of the human rights organization known as TerraSafe. You may recall that Chris was played by Wentworth Miller and that Claire was played by Ali Larder in the Resident Evil movie franchise. At the very end of the playtest episode of Black Mirror, it was revealed that main character Cooper's surname was actually Redfield. I wonder if he's related to them. And more to the point, it'll stop you puking with nerves. She's got to perform. Wow. Mm. One smart cookie. In the season 3 episode Shut Up and Dance, the racist CEO opens a webpage with a story about her leaked emails on it. It was the same page that had the Michael Callow story on it that we've already mentioned. It comes in the form of a cryptic advertisement that says, One smart cookie? Click to witness the kitchen tech of tomorrow. The tech being referred to in the advertisement is, of course, the cookie, which was a device from White Christmas that holds a trapped copy of your own consciousness and forces that sentient copy to tend to your every need, which essentially makes it your own personal slave. This is your job now. You're in charge of everything here. There's actually another extremely subtle Easter egg on that webpage as well. If you closely examine the small, barely noticeable writing just above the cookie advert, the text reads, Talent Show 15 Million Merits launches next week. There really has been an awful lot of effort put into Easter eggs in Black Mirror. Just give me money! National Allied Bank. Kenny's bank robbery was one of the most memorable moments from that season. It was acted out superbly by Alex Lothar and his partner in crime, Jerome Flynn, who you may have recognized as Braun from Game of Thrones. And from the moment the hapless duo pulled up outside a branch of fictional British bank National Allied with little time to lose, an in-universe easter egg was very obvious. While the first thing you probably notice about the bank is its rural location, the second is undoubtedly its logo. This bank also has branches in the city, because it was one of their cat 
cash machines that failed to dispense Cooper's flight money in the previous Season 3 episode playtest. The slanted V-shaped logo, which is admittedly slightly obscured by Cooper's shoulder at the ATM, also looks very similar to the logos emblazoned on military uniforms in Men Against Fire from later in the same season. That's either a commentary on banks and their history of profiting from war, or merely a bizarre coincidence. We'll let you decide on that. Sorry, what do you want, a just world? You're f***ing dreaming. The UK Immigration Crisis in the 2015 TV special Charlie Brooker's 2015 Wipe, the Black Mirror creator spoke openly about his anger at the way certain sections of the United Kingdom's media had handled the immigration crisis throughout the year. A number of news outlets actually referred to those poor people seeking asylum from war and persecution in Iraq, Syria, and other countries in crisis as a swarm of migrants. But when you read about them, you realized they must have had insect DNA or something because it sounded like there was sort of infestation swarming in. Which is, in hindsight, absolutely appalling and seemed to have the intention of dehumanizing them in the eyes of the British public. This was undoubtedly the inspiration behind the Black Mirror episode Men Against Fire. In the episode, soldiers in the near future are provided with an implant that allows them to see their enemies as monsters instead of humans. Dehumanizing them and making the act of killing them have less of an effect on the conscience. The soldiers also refer to their enemies as roaches, which is obviously a reference to the word swarm being so distastefully used by the UK media to describe the migrants. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. The Matrix. We end this video with one final easter egg that isn't a reference or nod to another episode of Black Mirror. It's actually a reference to one of the most iconic science fiction movie franchises of all time. After Lacey's popularity rating drops to a near unsalvageable low in the season 3 opener Nosedive, I didn't even do anything! She meets a trucker who's been ignoring the system put in place by the invisible social media platform and living as she pleases. After reluctantly accepting a ride, Lacey, who was played by Bryce Dallas Howard, is listening to the trucker argument for breaking away from the imposed system. She's then offered a drink by the wise outsider. Blue thermos is coffee, red's whiskey. Help yourself. I I'm okay. Of course, this is a nod to the iconic blue pill, red pill scene from The Matrix. In this instance, the coffee represents Lacey's decision not to stray out of character, and the whiskey represents an opportunity to abandon that character for good. Cool, huh? All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. And that's the end of our video. Did you enjoy it? Which other Black Mirror secrets and Easter eggs do you know of? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great videos like this one. And the number of times Charlie Brooker randomly appeared was... We hope you had fun counting. Bye for now. <laughs>